If the world has a better urban park than St. James's, I haven't seen it. And if the world has a more influential urban park than St. James's, I don't know of it. St. James's Park was the project which launched the London Open Space System, Paris Open Space System, the Boston Open Space System and the International Greenways Movement. So let's have a look at its history. Henry VIII bought the land from Eton College in 1532. He used it for Whitehall Palace and for a deer park. Charles II kept the deer, but after 1660 redesigned the hunting forest as a Baroque pleasure ground. Whitehall Palace burned to the ground in 1691, and in 1705 the focus of St James's Park shifted from east to west to Buckingham House, which became Buckingham Palace. In 1811, John Nash made a picturesque scenic route which linked St. James's Park to Green Park and to Regent's Park, which was then on the north fringe of London. Nash also changed the design of the park from the Baroque style to the Romantic style. After 1900, the Mall became a processional route focused on the Victoria Memorial and Buckingham Palace. Today, St. James's Park is beautiful and popular. One minute, you can commune with nature. Next minute, you can be part of a busy throng. It is a prime example of Rus in Herb, the country in the city. The water body was designed as a canal. Then it was redesigned as a serpentine lake in the early 19th century. The park has exotic plants, and it also has native plants. The Mall was designed for playing a form of croquet. Then it became a carriage road and then a ceremonial route. The Blue Bridge in the centre of the park provides two of the best views in central London, of Buckingham Palace and of the Horse Guards buildings. Duck Island Cottage was built in 1841 and now has the best cottage garden in central London. The spaces around the park are used for state occasions and for military displays on an almost daily basis. If the dice had rolled a different way and Hitler had won the war, then Churchill's last stand might have been in the Admiralty Citadel. Instead, it became London's best example of a green wall. Oh, just one more thing. If you want to make a better public park than St. James's, drop me an email. I can help you to brief your planners and your designers. <laughs>